Governor, it's been about two weeks since the release of the EVMS investigation, yes. which was inconclusive. Do you feel as though you owe it to the people of Virginia to definitively figure out who it is in that racist photo, as well as how the photo ended up on your personal yearbook page? Well, as you know, there was an investigation that was very thorough by Eastern Virginia Medical School. Uh, you know, they, what has happened in the Commonwealth of Virginia, uh, I regret that. I have addressed that. Uh, but today, uh, we're, we're talking about gun violence and how to save lives in Virginia. You had mentioned previously that, that you were going to conduct your own investigation separately from the EVMS. You said it yes. in February. Are you still conducting that investigation? Can the people of Virginia expect to find out who it is in that picture? We did conduct an investigation, a very thorough investigation, and that was turned over to Eastern Virginia Medical School. They reported on their investigation. You know, we, we've turned the page. Uh, Virginians want to move forward. They want a leader, a leader such as me that has passed Medicaid expansion in Virginia, 400,000 work in Virginia that ha now have access to health care. 627,000 Virginians now can get their licenses restored uh, because they weren't able to pay their fines and fees. These are the things that we've been able to do in Virginia. That's what Virginians care about, so we're ready to move forward. But today is an important day for gun safety in Virginia, and we need to do everything that we can to make sure that there are no more horrific tragedies like we witnessed this weekend in Anyone Virginia else? Beach. Respectfully, sir, we've, we've heard from a lot I of people who are not guys. willing to move on from this. We've had them on our air. What do you say to those folks who want answers? Well, I think they need to watch what's going on in Virginia. Again, we're leading Virginia. Good things are happening, so it's it's time to move forward. Thank you. Governor, uh, Governor the focus on racial equity in particular that you mentioned, I saw your new executive order today. We're yes. talking about affordable housing. Yes. Can affordable housing fit into some of what you've discussed, and if so, how? Oh, absolutely, and that's one of the reasons I'm here in Arlington today. Uh, I was in Richmond you know, last week, uh, as I said, talking about the new clay facility. Uh, but it's very important. We, we take a lot for granted when we have a roof over our heads, and we need to make sure that all Virginians uh, have access to affordable housing. It's especially important here in Northern Virginia.